All right, the National History Day organization has been partnering with Hawaii for many, many years. And this year, they've also been working with National Park Services and other museums for their Understanding Sacrifice program. We welcome Robert Buss, Hawaii Council for the Humanities, and Scott Falowski, National Park Service, to learn much more. Good morning to both of you, gentlemen. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for being here. Robert, start with you. Uh, what is the National History Day organization and really the relationship with Hawaii? Board? Right. Well, we've been doing uh, Hawaii History Day for 27 years. Mm -hmm. And basically, National History Day takes place in every state, territory, and even uh, internationally in many cases. And what it is is project-based learning where students, uh, grades 6 through 12, do projects. And so they're starting with original research, primary sources, and then turning it into a project, an, an exhibit, a display, a documentary, a website, an essay. And they're doing all of that work basically in their classrooms and then presenting it at school contests, district contests, state contests, and then finally to National History Day. Very exciting. And, and collaborating uh, this with historical partners, what's, what's being planned? Well, that's the thing. It's, it's really, at some point people say, well, what is, when is National right. History Day? Day. And yeah. it's really a four days that happens in Washington, D.C., but it's a year-round educational mm -hmm. program. We use over 200 judges, different judges, for our events here at District and State History Day, and they all come from museums, from educational departments, USS Missouri, the National Park, Pearl Harbor, Pacific Aviation. And when I say it's a year-round project, getting to National History Day means we do these workshops at sites around the, the state looking at topics that they could do their projects on. Scott, that's why I'll pull you in because it's important for students and your thoughts on that. Well, having the uh, National History Day utilize the USS Arizona Memorial and World War II Valor in the Pacific to understand uh, past sacrifices as well as looking into the future uh, of what uh, uh, history means to us uh, is very important. Yeah, I mean, it's all about education, and oftentimes the Park Service do these educational projects with schools and organizations, and you see, you see the, when you see their faces and you see what they're learning, that's important for them to, to understand history. Right. And a lot of times our keiki, this, uh, this generation, maybe they're not seeing that as much of the importance. How important is that to continue that legacy? Well, at the USS Arizona uh, Memorial, it allows uh, kids and teachers and uh, visitors to experience uh, that day in uh, 1941, mm -hmm. December 7th, what, which started uh, the Pacific War. Uh, nothing beats having a tangible experience and seeing things like our museum collection uh, up close and personal to understand how history fits into our everyday lives. And uh, you know, you have to know about your history to know about your future. Well, you really do. And National History Day just came here to Hawaii, and they had done a couple programs recently, one with Normandy and one with the memorial here. And it's a team of teachers with a student doing research on a particular soldier. So they've worked on this for maybe a couple months, and then they go to the site and actually deliver their kind of talk about Whoa, that that's... soldier at the grave site. And that's when the emotion sets in. Exactly. Yeah, and when the emotion sets in, that's when the learning process takes on a whole new level. You know, textbooks don't do anything. Exactly. Once you finally say, wait, that could have been me, that's right. my family, that's my community, mm -hmm. or that's my country. Those are the kinds of things that, Ooh, it's, geez, it's yeah. not from the past, yeah. you know. James Baldwin said, the history isn't past. It basically works on you and it's present in everything you do. It gets very real. It gets very real. Robert, thank you very much. Thank Scott, you. Great work, what you folks both do. And I appreciate it very much in keeping history alive and sending it to our next generation so that thank it can you. continue.